start. Hello there. My name is James, a teacher of mathematics of many years. In our last lesson, we talked about addition and subtraction of integers. In our lesson today, we are going to look at uh, multiplication and division of integers. Now, for us to multiply and divide integers, some rules have to be followed. Let us look at the rules for multiplication. In multiplication, a positive number multiplied by a positive number always gives a positive uh, answer. So we say positive times positive equals positive. That is our rule number one. Negative times negative will give us positive. And finally, when the signs are different, the result is always negative. So we say we can now look at some examples. Maybe we use the usual numbers that we, we are very familiar with, simple numbers. But remember, these ones apply even to larger numbers. So for example, we can have Remember we said for positive integers, the positive may not necessarily be written, but it is there. So that's a good example of positive multiplied by positive equals positive. If we use the same numbers, and now we had negative 2, we would get negative 6. Negative 2 multiplied by positive 3 will give us negative 6. That was our rule number 3. Our rule number 3. And for our rule number 2, if we had negative 2 multiplied by negative 3, we would end up with positive 6. I think those are good examples for multiplication. And let's look at now the rules for division. They are very similar to the rules for multiplication. That uh, if the two numbers are positive, then the result of division will be positive. If the two numbers are negative, the result for division will be positive. And if the signs are different, the quotient or the result of the division will always be negative. So again we say positive divided by positive gives positive. Negative divided by negative gives positive. And finally, when the signs are different, the result will be negative. So negative divided by positive. All positive divided by negative, we will always get negative. Some examples, if we had 12 divided by 3, the result would be 4. I have chosen numbers that are very easy to see, but we are saying that the rules apply regardless of the sizes of the numbers.
And for the second uh, rule, if this was negative 12, and we were dividing by negative 3, the result would be positive 4. And finally, if the signs are different, for example, if we had uh, 12, negative 12, divided by positive 3, the result would be negative 4. And we have said that even if this was, if the, even if the negative was at uh, 3, the result would still be negative 4. So negative, I mean, positive 12 divided by negative 3 would still give us negative 4. We will stop there for now, but remember to subscribe so that we can continue discussing mathematics. Remember, practice is very necessary for these rules to stick in our minds. Like we have always said, good grades are earned. They are not just given. And especially for mathematics and other science-related subjects, the amount of practice that one puts in always results in a better grade. Let's meet as we discuss something else mathematical in our next lesson.